first appearance in the United States of the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS, was no surprise to CDC epidemiologist Dr. Daniel Fiken. Honestly, we'd been expecting this to happen for over a year. We'd been waiting for the first MERS case, and that's why CDC has been preparing and working with health departments to prepare. The virus first made an appearance in Saudi Arabia in 2012, and within a year, the CDC website provided guidance for U.S. hospitals about how to report a potential infection, as well as case reports detailing the symptoms and risk factors. So in April, when a healthcare worker from Saudi Arabia found his way into an emergency room of a hospital in Munster, Indiana, they were able to put together the symptoms with the travel history to Saudi Arabia, which is the key component to make them think about testing for MERS. So it happened fairly quickly. I think this was a success. Health officials at community hospitals say standard procedures already in place also helped them to move swiftly. This is what we consider a negative airflow room. Dr. Alan Kumar says patients who enter community hospital with symptoms like a persistent cough, fever, or diarrhea are routinely brought to isolation rooms like this one. The air from these rooms doesn't circulate with the rest of the ventilation system in the hospital. Hospital CEO Don Fesco also points out a tracking system that helped quickly identify which employees had been in close contact with the patient. Special sensors worn by nursing staff allow the hospital to keep track of who has entered a patient's room and for how long. That's something that became valuable to the hospital and the CDC as they investigated the MERS case and took measures to isolate and test exposed employees. When and where another case will show up can't be predicted, but those involved in the Munster case say there are lessons learned from the experience. To think about MERS, you really need to get a good travel history. And if somebody has recently come back within the last 14 days from the Arabian Peninsula and they have a febrile or respiratory illness, providers should think about testing for MERS. And it's important for every hospital to make sure protocols for dealing with infectious diseases have been updated. Because the appropriate precautions were taken, things turned out as well as they did. Had we not done the things that we're used to doing every day, it could have been a lot worse.